Hello guys, my name is BRT Cobra and today I am going to show you how to get both the new artifacts and also how to use them. Okay guys, so sadly you're going to have to play through the story mode again because this is a must, you cannot get them without it. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to kill Megan the boss as usual. You're going to take her to the main artifact, you're going to put her in there and she will drop a key card. Now that gold Sahara key card that she drops is what is required to obtain the main artifact. Once you have that key card, you will need to do as follows. Okay, so once you've made your way through the campaign and you've got to the activation station, here you will see the E to activate. We don't want to press that, you will see a computer on the right hand side here. This is what we do want to activate and this will open up this door right here. Okay, so now we are going to activate this. It's going to take a little bit of time, but I will just leave it to play out for a minute. Remember guys, he has to think about, you know, if he does activate this. Timmy will of course be dead and there is no bringing him back. So we're going to shut down this device. There we go, all done. And pretty much the end of Timmy now, so rest in peace Timmy. This will activate the door over here. Now of course we're going to use the Sahara gold keypad, the one that we will need for the yacht. We're going to go down the elevator and this will bring us out into a small uh, cave section. Now within this cave section I will tell you there is a way that veers off to the right. That is where you will need to place the uh, artifact that we fetch off from the yacht. We'll place that there but we're going to ignore it right away. We're going to go through the cave and what we're going to do is we're going to head on over to the yacht. So there's a few items around here. As you can see I'm just going to bring out a torch. Uh, probably not the brightest. I will probably light up a stick for you guys. Okay so now what we're going to do is... Just have a little look around. We need to just follow the cave uh, straight, basically just follow it exactly where it goes. And when we see the turn off to the right, we are going to completely ignore it. Although we will be returning to that shortly. So through the cave, taking all in as we go through, it does look beautiful. It's lovely, lovely textured and it looks very, very nice. But yeah, this guy is all new. This has never been seen before, unless of course you've watched it on a video somebody's posted, I don't know. But hopefully mine is the first and we're going to go through the cave, making sure we just take in everything. See what's about, we've got another platform down here, we can jump down because we are in creative, just to make it easy so you can see exactly where to go quickly without worrying about me dying. So we're going to follow the cave through. It's very dark, of course for the video I will light it up obscenely with a bit of video editing. Uh, we're going to just take a look around here, you'll see this bit of water here. I will probably put on a rebreather, so let's just take that. In we go, under we go. And as you can see I'm going to follow this cave to the left and out we pop. There goes the light, which is a shame because it's very bright, that is. We're going to light up the stick again. Continue on forward. Now here, we should see our way to the right in a minute. The one, the way that we don't want to take. So that is down there. We need to come back here after the yacht. So we're going to keep on going forward. What we're going to do very shortly is find an exit and what this will do, this exit will take us out to the top of the snow biome or well within it at least. So we'll just keep going forward until we find it because there is only one way, you just keep going. You can't get lost, you really can't. So just keep on going, keep on going through all these rocks and here guys should be the exit up here. Okay, so I've lit up another stick so you can see. We're going to continue. Now here you will need some kind of explosive. Make sure you have explosives. 
Uh, I'm going to use a bomb. I'm just going to throw it on there. Step back. There we go. Just let that go off. Stand far back so you don't get blown over, of course. I'm going to crouch. Go through all the rubble. Looks cool. And as you'll see, there's snow all around the rocks and an exit. Once you come through this exit, guys, it is very important to place a flag marker. You will need to do that. Now enjoy a short, brief cutscene. Very, very sad. But I think you'll all agree that he's done the right thing, no? He didn't want to bring back a monster. But anyway, guys, make sure now that you place your flag marker because you will need to return once we pick up the artifact from the yacht. Okay, so hopefully you all know exactly where the yacht is. It is at the beach. So what we're going to do now is we're going to swim across and head on into the yacht. Okay, guys, so once inside the yacht, pull out the gold Sahara key card that we got from Megan after putting her into the main artifact. And what you'll find in here, once the door opens, is the first small artifact that we require to go back and get the main artifact. As you can see, it's right here on the bed. It's a tiny little artifact and it's basically a key. You know those uh, scales? that we have to put the stones on to open the main doors. Well, this is a special one of those. So we'll put that on the main doors in a bit. So let's head on back to the flag marker, back up in the snow biome and go from there. Okay, so we made it back and we're gonna go back into the cave entrance. So it slowly does it. And what we need to do is, you remember where I said we need to go down that right side of the cave, that big hole. We need to head our way there. So we're gonna light up and make our way down. So simple again. We'll just run through this. Of course I will brighten this all up for you guys. No problem. Just keep on going. And yeah, these things, uh, the artifact that we're going for, the main one, uh, has a pretty nifty usage. And I will show you that after we pick it up and get out of this cave but yeah let's go round here you can see the platform we need to now go down here i of course is going to take the quick way because why not here is the little scale we need to put the small artifact found from the yacht onto this scale so there we go place that within the door will open and this will lead to something cool there it is You'll see a little, uh, I don't know what to call this, but a little hole with the artifact already switched on. Yes, you can switch it on and off. Now it fell down because I already have it, as you can see. Now with right mouse, if you click right mouse, this artifact will switch on and turn blue. If you click left mouse, it will turn red. But I'm going to get out of the cave now and show you what we do with this. So guys, having clicked left mouse and then looking down, you can press C to bring this out and it will stick into the ground. Now if you wait patiently long enough, a whole bunch of cannibals will spawn toward it. Okay guys, you can hear them coming now uh, from behind. I'm getting quite the beating as you can hear. So let's turn around and see how many there are. Okay, so we turn around, you can see there's quite a few. He's hit uh, and killed one behind him. Um, there's a whole bunch more coming. Now, what we need to do is pick up the artifact here at this point because there's just too many to deal with in some scenarios. So we're going to pick up the artifact and we're going to right mouse click. And what this will do is it will turn it blue. Now, if you put this in the ground, this is now a deterrent for the cannibals. As you can see, watch this. They will all start to run away. There we go. So if you have a nice base, guys, just stick this blue within your base 
and they're gone. So there you go. I hope this video helped you out uh, to find both of these artifacts and better understand them. Uh, I'm going to go. I will see you in the next video, which shouldn't be too long. So take care. Goodbye. See you soon.